So how to make money betting on round robins. That's what we're gonna be discussing in this video. So round robins are a popular type of bet. They're offered on nearly all sports books and all a round robin is, is a series of smaller parlays, right? So if you create a three pick round robin, let's say you have the Dodgers, the Mets and the Yankees to win. So you have three different MLB teams to win in a round robin. You essentially just have three parlays. You have the Dodgers and Yankees, the Dodgers and Mets, and the Mets and Yankees to win. So you have three different bets. One three leg round robin is actually three different two leg parlays. So in this video, we're gonna be breaking down how to make money betting on round robins. Now, the first question you may be wondering is why would I wanna bet on a round robin? It's kind of in the middle of a straight bet versus a parlay, right? We could parlay Dodgers, Mets, and Yankees all to win. So we need all three picks to win for our bet to win. Or we could also bet these straight. We could just bet on the Yankees, just bet on the Mets, and just bet on the Dodgers. So the reason bettors like round robins is they're kind of in the middle, right, of straight bets and parlays. They're not as risky as parlays because you don't need every single pick to win. Just the Dodgers and the Mets win, you're still gonna win one parlay in your round robin if just two of your three teams win, whereas in a parlay, you would lose. But they have a higher payout than a straight bet, right? So they're kind of in the middle. So if you think about the risk reward spectrum, parlays are over here, straight bets are over here, and round robins are kind of in the middle. So if you look at my screen, you can see a three pick round robin. I have three overs for three different MLB games. So again, a three pick round robin is just a series of three two leg parlays. But I will say, this is just to kind of clarify, it's a little misleading because if you put in $500 to your round robin, you're not actually betting $500, right? You're actually betting $1,500. You're betting $500 on three different parlays. So your total stake would be $1,500. So I just wanted to clarify that because you'll see some people, they start to bet on round robins. They'll place like, you know, a three pick round robin for $100. They think they're betting $100 total, but it's actually $300 total. That's just one point to clarify before we continue um, explaining round robins and how to make money with them. So round robins for three picks are pretty straightforward. It's just three different two leg parlays, but things get a little more complicated if you add in a fourth pick, which you can see I did right here. I just added in another MLB over. So now when you have four picks, you have two different options, right? You can either place a bunch of little two leg parlays or you can place three leg parlays. So you can see on the screen, it says you can either place six two pick parlays, or you can place four three pick parlays, right? And again, just remember, if you're placing six two leg parlays for let's say $100 each, if you're putting in $100 to FanDuel, you're actually betting $600 total because it's six different two leg parlays for $100 is how the sports books operate. So now you have the option, right? If you wanna be less risky, you can place six different two leg parlays, you're diversifying a bit. If you want a little more risk, so closer to a parlay, you can place four different three leg parlays. It's really up to you. And you can add in a fifth pick and you'll kind of see the same thing. Then if you have a five leg round robin, you can either create, you know, four pick parlays, three pick parlays, or two pick parlays. If you have a six pick round robin, you can either create five leg parlays, four leg parlays, three leg or two leg. So kind of as you add to a round robin, you can create, you can start to create bigger and bigger parlays. So let's say we have five picks in our round robin. We can either do by fours, so we can create a bunch of four leg parlays, three leg parlays, or two leg parlays. Kind of just depends on the risk reward spectrum you want. If you want lower risk, then you should be placing by twos. You should be placing a series of two leg parlays because that's less risky than placing a series of four leg parlays. So similar to why people you know, may prefer parlay betting, they like more risk with higher payouts, right? Versus straight betting, which is more consistent, you're more likely to win, but the payouts are smaller. You can kind of de determine that for yourself for a round robin, right? If you like more risk, you would maybe want your five pick round robin to be a series of four leg -like parlays. If you like less risk, maybe you'd want it to be two leg -like parlays. But anyways, let's really start to talk about how to make money betting on round robins. So here you can see a three pick round robin I'm on for today, athletics, nationals, tigers, First half run line. Total wager is 750. So each two leg parlay, A's, Nationals, A's, Tigers, Nationals, Tigers, 
has a bet size of $250. So I just have three $250 parlays. And I've explained this before, but when people want to make money betting on parlays, if you want to make money straight betting, if you want to make money betting on round robins, it's not that complicated. You just have to find plays with a positive profit margin. So I'll switch over to the odds jam positive EV tool. And here you can see the three plays I went with. Tigers plus half, Nationals plus half, Athletics plus half. So I just filter for win bet. You know, the sports book I decided to place the round robin on. I decided to go with a three pick round robin. The profit margin started to get a little lower, you know, around point, you know, six, five percent here. So I just decided to do a three pick round robin. And using the odds jam positive EV tool is pretty simple, right? You just want to hit the bet in bold that is highlighted in green. So here it would be nationals plus half at plus 140 on win bet. These plays would be profitable if you bet them straight. If we created a three leg parlay with these plays, they would also be profitable, right? All of these plays have an edge or if you include them in a round robin. So betting on straight bets versus parlays versus round robins, it's really just a risk tolerance preference right? If you're more risky, if you like the lower amount of money bet for bigger payouts, you should probably be betting on parlays. If you like somewhere in the middle, then round robins may be for you. If you like consistency, you know, then you should probably be straight betting if you want to win more frequently, even though your payouts will be smaller. But the same strategy of finding plays with an edge is pretty simple. You just want to look for plays that have value in the market. So you can see here for the Nationals first half run line, we're getting plus 140 on win bet, which is a pretty good price, right? FanDuel has this plus 116, Caesars plus 130. No other book is offering better than plus 132. And you can see Pinnacle, the sharpest bookmaker in the world, they're offering plus 126, right? So all this positive EV tool does for you and it doesn't matter if you want a straight bet, if you want to bet on parlays or round robins, is it goes through win bet. So all these different odds you can bet on first period, second period, third period, and it points out where there's value. So you can see all the plays today are baseball plays, but sometimes you'll see NBA, soccer, all different sorts of stuff like that. And as a sharp better, you know, you're like a savvy investor. You're like a day trader. You're hunting through the market and looking for value. And it doesn't matter if you're betting on parlay, straight bets, or round robins. That doesn't matter. That's just a risk tolerance preference. It literally doesn't matter. If your plays are profitable in a straight bet, if your plays have an edge in a straight bet, they'll be profitable in a parlay. If your plays are profitable in a straight bet, they'll be profitable in a round robin right? Parlays are just, you know, again, bigger payouts. So this Nationals play, we're getting really good value, plus half at plus 140 on win bet. You know, no other sports book. We have, you know, numerous other data points all pricing this around, you know, maybe plus 125 on average. We're getting plus 140, really good value on win bet. We found an edge, right? Odds Jam scanning the millions of odds on sports books and pointing out these discrepancies to you. And Nationals plus half is obviously a great play to go with. So long story short, betting on round robins, you know, it's just a risk tolerance preference. It's in the middle of straight bets and parlays. And that's really all I got for you. And that's how you make money betting on round robins. I've been pretty successful with them. So hopefully you guys are able to find some success as well.